Namaste my friends, <clears throat> Paul Callaghan with you, the yoga teacher of the tradition of the Swami Shivananda. Uh, the same uh, beginning in the video usually, if you know that already, who is watching my video all the time, see all the time you just can skip it. Yeah, well, I'm trying to be uh, fast. So uh, I don't know when, who, where will see this video, that's why uh, it's polite to do uh, yeah, and, uh, I teach pretty long time, about 30 years, uh, about uh, 38 years I study yoga, <coughs> and uh, right now I am in Brooklyn, 2021, August, um, yeah, and I'm in, in my little ashram, I'm initiated in tradition, I lived in ashrams, I had teachers, I, I have teacher now, uh, so, uh, I got spiritual name, it's Shankara. I'm not fanatical, I'm not in any organization. Uh, all things I'm giving to you just from my soul, uh, from my own experience. I don't want you to make my mistakes. Mostly it's for people who are seeking for the knowledge, for God, uh, who is doing yoga in Vedic culture, but not only. Um, yeah, I don't like criticize, uh, I don't like uh, argue, uh, to do brainwash, to push you, to force you, anything like that. I don't like to uh, like uh, to say how to live your life and stuff. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> and I don't look at the camera all the time because my vision is bad. I always recommend in every video uh, in my channel and here video for eyes like uh, it's uh, yoga for eyes very good video I am using it all the time like every day I do otherwise I would not be with you today so I have real problem with red now and I'm also a meditative person sometimes I can stop so in English my second language and uh, basically I'm from Russia so I'm here for more than 30 years but uh, I still need to find sometimes some words to explain something difficult in English, so it's, a, it's difficult even for people who know English well. Yeah, uh, I have a few platforms in here and the channel is uh, they're absolutely free, it's no commercial. Uh, I'm just trying to uh, help people. Uh, yeah, I'm without the shirt because it's too hot right now. It's not just, I know it's a little polite, but not polite, I mean, but. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm under the roof. Uh, if I'll put a C in here, it's gonna be you're not gonna hear me. Uh, something I'm, I want to show my body or something. Yeah, um, in here on the channel, I have many videos that are connected to each other. Many topics: meditation, relaxation, asanas, pranayamas, and many others. Philosophy. Um, so I have a website. It's on uh, most on Russian language, but. It's a good translator there, like big, huge, I would say, um, uh, translator of 165 languages, uh, you can use it, uh, even big companies using it. Uh, it's a big site, like very many gurus helped me to do that. It's a big, like, uh, like encyclopedia of yoga, welcome. Uh, I'm also publishing the books with my own uh, own uh, sutras, I would say, phrases, spiritual aphorisms. Uh, in one book, it's about 7,000 of them. The name of it, the essence on the altar of love. So uh, you can download my book and my uh, the all information about the, the video on my website, absolutely free. And uh, it's uh, uh, in English and in Russian, like any language. Uh, so. Uh, You can Google it also. Paul Kelligan, Pavel Kelligan, The Essence and the Altar of Love. I have a few more platforms, uh, Instagram and Facebook, uh, for example. I put my phrases over there like pretty much every day. Uh, do comments, it's important for other people. You can help somebody. Um, so, uh, 
basically this is it so uh, not that much <clears throat> yeah I'm trying to say it fast right now because uh, everything everybody's running somewhere but I can't just jump into the topic when I do some sad sounds yeah it's spontaneous video like uh, of course I know what I'm gonna say but uh, approximately but I'd, I'd like to be alive you know like I don't wear masks like uh, I am who I am and uh, uh, yeah so uh, I'm trying to be natural yeah I don't even prepare myself too much before video yeah my students comes right here yeah, I teach I I'm a practitioner I practice myself do my sadhana yeah and uh, right now I'm doing this um, the big serial video the big line the big um, like yeah uh, sad like series of sad song sad songs from uh, I am uh, I do comments on my own phrases, spiritual phrases, from my books. Uh, it's about 10,000 of them, but of course I'm not going to do it every, everything. So, uh, I hope it's going to help you on your spiritual path. Yeah. Again, I'm not trying to force you, I'm just uh, sharing. Yeah. Trying to think myself to take some lessons from it and training with you maybe you're gonna think about it and maybe you'll take something from it yeah I was glad when it happens yeah um, <clears throat> yeah so they're not connected to each other the videos like I said and uh, the first phrase I would do today it's like from my book sometimes the God speaks to you through your genius or genius so uh, it's pretty deep one uh, the many sutras not up this right away it's some of them not about logic even you need to meditate yeah what I mean in here in here I mean the God speak through you like through your old gene through your genies so it's like uh, the everybody first of all has something in it like not just talent but genius about something but it just it just we don't see it you know we're not realizing it um, it's deep inside but we all have it you know like it's not like uh, I think somebody's genius and somebody's nobody I've seen things in my life and I would say many ex like examples like uh, the people who never, let's say, like, uh, wrote the music or something. Just started to do that. Like, in, and he's, like, amazing on it. It goes from past lives, so, you know, like, uh, whatever you believe. But uh, it's a first thing. So believe in yourself. Like, uh, try to... Uh, open up yourself try to do research of yourself meditate it's very important it is many things you're not using in you like it's genius in any of us it's the first message from this sutra and another one the genius thing it's not just talent it's very close to our it's beyond logic and even 
beyond um, intuition even. It's like higher, it's almost Atman, it's almost like your true soul from God. Yeah, and uh, your true self. That's why the God, let's say it's outside, but God is everywhere. But let's put it that way, the God is inside of us. You can say it's a genius, or almost. Like, it's a genius thing, like, very close, it's higher than mind. It's very close to our inner heart, like inner, inner God. And we can connect to the God from outside, we can say that. You cannot separate it, but kind of, like Atman and Brahman, they, they just, you just, it's become a unity between you and God. So sometimes God speaks through your genius, like, He speaks to your higher self. But uh, to hear it, to recognize it, you need to grow spiritually. You need to open your talents, you need to open yourself. A real you. Not somebody told you you're like that or like that. Not the way you think about yourself sometimes because somebody said so. Not from newspapers, not from school, not from what the parents told you who you are and society. But we but your true soul, true self, you need to believe in yourself also. And trying to say, what's, what's special about me? It is something special about you, believe me. But you need just meditate, just keep quiet and just listen to yourself. When your mind is balanced, calm, one day you're gonna you're gonna recognize it. Of course, spiritual books and uh, real gurus helps. Of course, and sadhana, like asana, pranayama, yoga, all these practices, of course, helps. Yeah, the another sutra. God is everything you live with. Yeah, I like this one. Yeah, uh, the God is everything you live with. Sometimes we think God somewhere on the sky, but it's not exactly true. Everything is God. The God's creation, everything around us, the trees, like everything sun and sky it's part of God it's a forms of God so uh, God is everything you live with yeah everything you live with your clothes your cats or dogs your pets your parents your everything plants around you. Everything around you and you live with somebody or, or with something. It sounds silly like chair is God. But it's God's energy also. But on a lower frequency. That's all that we can see it. It's like God is uh, endless. You know, like it's, it's uh, hard to explain it logically. It's hard to put in our minds like uh, it's beyond everything. 
beyond feelings, beyond our understandings. So, and when you got some very high state of mind, like samadhi, samadhi, or meditation, like transcendental high meditation, like you feel like you feel unity with God, and definitely you feel like God is everything. Like you don't need to go somewhere for God. It's in you, it's around you, it's above you, it's below you, it's near you, it's on you, it's with you. Try to understand it. And with each part of the God, we need to, it's all God, it's all creation, we need to do properly to behave properly I would say yeah it's very important for people who just think God is like I don't want to take the names like this is God and that's it. God is love. It's not such a thing that like in one room it's God and in another room it's no God. You know, it's not some statues, it's not some it's endless energy, love and consciousness. Yeah. to know how to uh, how to find the way out of your happiness yeah usually we think how to get out of difficulties you know like some depression I would say or difficulties in life but we don't think the happiness sometimes uh, becoming not so good for us. It sounds a little bit strange too, but uh, I don't mean true happiness like from God. I mean like sometimes we have we feel happy from drugs, let's say, you know, and sometimes we say it's one thing about sutra. But any sutras, it's many meanings. That's why it's uh, sutra sufferism. It's not. It's a spiritual thing. It's very. It's many ways to explain it. Yeah, it's it's uh, deeper than just phrase. Yeah. So that's the first meaning of this phrase. So. Uh, I'm sharing my experience here, yeah, like I said, it's not like I, I'm taking it from some other books. Of course, somebody wrote something, something similar, but I don't think about it. Yeah. I just want you to think like me, which is going to help you to grow. At least if you think. Pay attention and things like that from your daily routine. It's already not bad. So yeah, uh, sometimes it drugs, and sometimes it's spiritual drugs. That's more important. It is some samadhi, some state of meditations, some meditation. When you stay, you enjoy it too much because of hormones and everything. You calm and you 
and you think like you're growing spiritual. It calls Jara Samadhi, like it's black Samadhi, like, but you don't, you don't grow. It's like a sleep, sweet, uh, rest, peace, joy, but you're not growing. Like similar like drugs, but it's spiritual drug. And you need to realize which is true meditation and you grow spiritually. It's about consciousness. You should be conscious. You know, and if it's unconscious or you meditating like it's becoming drug for you already. You get you're getting used to it, you're getting attached to it. You know? That's also not so good sometimes. Sometimes it's becoming becoming habit, like attachment, even meditation. So, and you just going to meditate, not to go further to God or with your evolution of your soul, but just to just to have pleasure. That's another meaning of the this sutra. You need to know how to get the way out of the happiness. That's the sutra. Yeah, and sometimes we it's another meaning. We in we meditate, let's say, or we too happy about something in life, about something too much, and then we're losing it. And when we have real trouble, we get in trouble, we get in depressed, some people killing themselves, we're going crazy. So uh, be careful with the happiness also. It sounds strange also, but uh, unless it's truly Samadhi when you have absolutely happiness and unity with God and you deserve it, it's a different story. But if you're just practitioner, especially in the beginning, or just person in life, We all think like how to go from the bad things. But sometimes we need to go through from good things. I already told from what? And also from anything. If it's too much. Everything like if it's too much could be anything. It's too much. You go higher, you're gonna fall down harder. So, uh, you should be careful about happiness also. Of course, it's uh, in each particular situation, it's kind of different. Sometimes you don't have to stop it. But in many cases, in many ways, I, I want you to know just it exists. Just have this thought inside of mind. Just think about it. Just remember it. Sometimes it's very difficult to go away from this happiness. Let's say you think you love your wife or your husband, but it's not truly love. It's like sometimes it's attachments, you know, sometimes, sometimes it's a little bit different. It's different th feeling. It's like ecstasy, you know, it's like, it's like a drug. And you depend on him or on her because of sex or something. You know, it could be anything, money. It could be just, you're very good with him, you know, like you feel very nice. Like, but 
sometimes it's like uh, extremely hard when you see it's not your person let's say and you started to love it happens real love like with another person and you like in between you were happy kind of happy also before and it's no good to be with both of them let's say you need to get it like to make a choice and this choice sometimes very painful it's very hard to do it people go to a psychiatrist you know like it's very hard but you're going from one happiness to more happiness let's say It could be many examples, many, from life, from spiritual life, from sadhana. Let's say, for example, like I said to you in meditation, and suddenly, you, like you cannot meditate because of something. You got trauma, you got, like, for some reasons. And you are attached to it already, you need it like a drug. So in any situation, like in life, let's say, not always, but in many cases, in many situations, we need to remember when we're happy, we should know how to get out of it also because it's always happiness like much higher than that happiness you have and if you are attached to lower happiness you're not gonna get high happiness like from God with the real love let's say think about it it's many of the sutra it's many many things to think about it many lines so I think that's enough for today uh, I'll see you next time welcome to my sad songs God is love Namaste